What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Herschel TV, Corey C, The Scene Hip Hop Magazine, baby. Sports Podcast. Corey, what's up, man? Man, just uh, waiting on the Monday night game, man. Trying to trying to hope that uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers defense puts it on Kansas City so that I can win my fantasy game. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there do fancy football. Me and Corey do fancy football. If you don't do fancy football, I suggest you do it next year. It's very addicting. Um, me, I'm not going to the playoffs this year, but I'm going to I'm gonna fight. I'm going to fight to try to get in there if I can. And at least be the spoiler, knock some teams out of there. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going. I, I may be 8-2 after tonight if Pittsburgh's defense plays well. But I got some injuries. I got Darren McFadden out. Yeah. Greg Jennings out for probably the rest of the year. But luckily, I got Peyton Manning, Demarius Thomas, and a couple other players that are helping me out. But Speaking of Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning is back to form. Um, now, the Colts, they do have a really good quarterback in Andrew Luck, but Peyton Manning is on fire right now. I mean, you just named some of his weapons. Don't forget about Willis McGay, and don't forget about the defense. Um, they're the they're better off with Tebow. Dude, <laughs> hey, the special teams yeah. scored yesterday. Oh, yeah, the defense, holiday. Yeah. The defense scored yesterday. Uh-huh. And offense score. I mean, you got all three phases of the game. They're going to be scary down the stretch. They got a weak schedule. Yep. And they only lost three games. The only games coming up for them that I see may be tough is at Baltimore, which may or may not be tough the way Baltimore's look. Yeah, they got so many. But Baltimore's tough at home. They, they are. Well, they yeah, have one of the best records at home. And mm-hmm. Tampa Bay comes to Denver. Tampa Bay's looking pretty good. They can sling the ball around Tampa Bay. They got but I, Martin, I, I so. think I think the, the Broncos defense, Josh Freeman's looking good this mm-hmm. year. But I think the defense could probably confuse them. I think that um, I think Peyton can he can confuse almost anybody. Yeah. And I think I mean it's it's in Denver, so that that's a winnable game, but it's still, it's also a losable game. It is. It is. So I, they they may lose two more games. They're going to beat Kansas City twice. Oh, they're going to smoke Kansas. City. They're going to beat San Diego this weekend. They're going to beat the Raiders again. Yeah. The only two losable games are Tampa Bay and Baltimore. Yeah. I don't think they're going to lose any more games. Um, they're, they're 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 hitting on all stride right now. Now I do want to talk about Aaron Rodgers. A lot of people are, are, are saying oh, Aaron Rodgers is overrated. He has a cocky attitude. His tight end is they're not they're not discombobulated by no stretch. But do you see them going back to the Super Bowl? I didn't see him going to the Super Bowl when they went a couple years ago because they got so injured. Yeah, and I don't think he's. I, I'm not a huge Aaron Rodgers fan. Yeah. I don't dislike him at all, but I'm not like I don't follow him that much. Yeah, yeah. But dude, when they went to the Super Bowl, they had injuries. Yeah. They're injured now. I mean, he's making Jordy Nelson, uh, Randall Cobb. He's that making guys, all these ooh, guys, James man. Jones. Yeah. He's making all these guys look like superstars. Uh-huh. And they're and they're winning. And yeah, they lost to Seattle on that bullshit call. Yeah. They lost, but they they beat Houston. Hey, the, team the Jaguars Houston. gave them a game. The Jaguars, they, they, they keep winning games, yeah. and, and, and the defense is horrible. Yeah, they got no running game. Their the the receivers are banged up. It reminds me of what Peyton Manning was doing in Indianapolis uh-huh. when Marvin Harrison got injured, Reggie Wayne got hurt, Dallas Clark, Austin Collick. You had Blair White. Dude, like, who's that? Yeah, he made them. Aaron Rodgers makes players. He's making household better. names out of these guys. You're right. The thing about Jermichael Finley, as much as he complains about Aaron Rodgers, he needs to just catch the football. He needs to catch he's the not football. catching the football. He's 6'5. He's a freak of nature. He's going to end up getting cut. I thought he was going to be a top five tight end this year. Oh, I thought he was healthy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, who cares about the injuries? I mean, this is the NFL. You have to play through injuries. Everyone's injured. Everybody's injured. So, the Houston Texans, right now, there's a lot of Dallas Cowboy fans shifting over to the Houston Texans. Do you blame them? No. The Cowboys are the most dysfunctional, no, no. dysfunctional hey, team besides hey, Philadelphia. Hey, okay, so the Cowboys won the other day. Yeah. Guess what? Sunday, what day? It's against Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Come on, guys. <laughs> like, look, you know, a win's a win, and, and wins are hard to come by in the NFL. Yeah. But put it in perspective, it was Philadelphia. It was Philadelphia. Right? Yeah. And speaking of Philadelphia, is Andy Reid done today? Andy Reid is absolutely done. I'm, I'm going to say he's a dead man walking right now. I feel bad for him, but you have to look at the play calling. You have LaShawn McCoy back there. You have miniature wide receivers. You have a quarterback that did. I love Michael Vick, but he just started reading the playbook, so he doesn't know how to audible but, and do hot reads. And the thing is, though, would anybody look good with that offensive line? Drew Brees, maybe, because he can scramble. Well, around. that's the that's the difference between a Drew Brees. I mean, look yesterday. Okay, the backup quarterback. Nick look at how he had some time to throw the ball. All of a sudden, the line started blocking for him, and yeah. I was like, "Wow, are you serious?" Michael Vick, his first instinct is to run the ball, but. 
the media's on him about he needs to throw the ball, he needs to be a pocket passer, he needs to be like Drew Brees. No, he's not those guys. The line is putrid and terrible. He needs to go back to what was what he used to do good to yeah. win. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and another thing about Philadelphia, I don't think it's really Andy Reid's fault. You had a defensive court, a defensive line coach, no, an offensive line coach mm -hmm. running the defense yeah. for the last year or two. Why? You had uh, you had an opportunity to go out and get a good defensive coordinator. Somebody's out there. Somebody yeah, was they, available. They remind me of the Yankees. Like they think they can just buy pieces to the puzzle, like uh, Oshawa and, and oh, Nandi Oshawa. Oh my God. I mean, yeah. Dominic Rogers, Kamari. Yeah, and, and it's not it's not a cohesive unit. Back when Philadelphia, and I was never a huge Philadelphia fan, but I'm a fan of the NFL and and, and a fan of. Schemes and systems like I, I paid attention to their defensive system. Yeah, they used to hit people in the mouth. Oh, man, they Dawkins. were they were brutal. Yeah, exactly. John Trotter. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, the end. They ran a lot of screens. They ran screens on the offensive man. They're not running screens, draws, scat. They're dude, just McNabb's got to be laughing. Like, do you oh, think yeah. McNabb would even want that job back? Absolutely not. I mean, I he wouldn't be doing any better than Vic. No, he'd be getting smoked. Their receivers are miniature and. If they take a big hit, they don't get back up. Deshaun Jackson weighs 165 pounds soaking wet. Macklin, maybe 190. Yep. And they don't have no, they, they don't have any girth uh, at the receiver position. I mean, they're, they're tiny. And that, that reminds me of, that's why I don't think Aaron Rodgers is overrated because Aaron Rodgers loses Greg Jennings. Yeah. Jordy Nelson was down for the next year. So. Randall Cobb, Randall superstar. Cobb. Yeah. But, I mean, he makes stars out of all these guys, and it's frustrating from a fantasy perspective because you it's never good. know which one it's going to be. Yeah. But but Aaron Rodgers is still look. Well, what's what's the record right now? Seven three. Seven three. I think they're seven three. Yeah. Seven three or six and three. One of the two. I think they're, I think six, they're and six and three. Yeah, six they three. had a bot. Yeah. But they didn't really lose to Seattle. Yeah. They had some close games, but dude, of course they anybody's, smoked Houston, man. They smoked. They Houston. Six, smoked. He put six touchdowns on Houston, and Houston's a five to one favorite to win a Super Bowl, I believe, or at least to come out of the, the you know, come out they, of the. And, uh, and they were banged up. They yeah. had no running game. The receivers are Jennings was out, and then they put that on the number one defense, supposedly yeah. with JJ. Yeah. Okay, we got two more things to talk about. Okay, who is your defensive MVP right now? Mine's is Charles Peanut Tillman. Tillman. I've because, never seen a guy strip the ball like that in right. my life. I mean, dude, when, when, now, J.J. Watt's great, mm -hmm. and Houston, that's great. They're doing well. But, and they, they just beat Chicago in Chicago, I understand yeah. that. But they have no offense, okay? You yeah. can't, but they scored six or seven times on defense. Dude, the, the, their their offense has only scored seven. Their offense, you're talking about the Bears, right? The Bears. Their offensive line's horrible. Right. And, and I mean, look, four seconds quarter. <laughs> The line's horrible. Cutler got sacked seven times against Arizona. Okay, first half. Forte can't get he can't get three yards to save his life last yeah. night. And it's a rainy game. You're supposed to be able to get yards in the rain. You're running. You're gonna run in the rain. Yeah. It, but the defense, besides last night, they did. They got a couple picks last night. Yes, they did. But I mean, Tillman to ball hop, dude. That guy. They they scored. I mean, Erlocker, as old as he is, mm -hmm. running touchdowns run back a couple yeah. weeks ago. Lance Briggs. The thing about it is, guys. If you, oh yeah, Tim Jennings, if you guys want to learn how to strip and keep your job, this is for your high school kids. Google Charles Peanut Tillman, and that's how you fucking play football. That's how you tackle. That hey, guy does not miss any tackle. Coppers, Coppers, Cold, Texas, man. He's a Texas boy. Yeah. All right, so we're going to talk about the Dallas Cowboys. All right. Are the Dallas Cowboys going to make the playoffs this year, Corey? Do you want to see them make the playoffs? Are they America's team you, still? You know, <laughs> I don't think they've been America's team. Jerry Jones, to me, is a joke. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was never a huge Cowboys fan in the first place, but I know there are a lot of fans here that are Cowboys fans. Oh, everywhere. Right. right. Everywhere. All over Texas. So I want everyone to have their team do well like, yeah. in general. But the Cowboys owner is the GM. That's that's ridiculous. He wants to be in the limelight. Yeah. Kind of like when Suge Knight with Death Row Records, Tupac was blown. He all of a sudden wanted to be in the limelight on the covers and all that shit. Mm -hmm. Jerry Jones wants to be the general manager, the coach, this, that. He's like he's like Al Davis at the end of his career. Yeah. Al yeah. Davis was great, and he meant a lot to the NFL and did a lot of great things. Yeah. But towards the end of his career, he kind of became oh, he was a med He was a meddler. Right. That's what he right. was. And that's what Jerry Jones is. And I want them to do well. And, and it, I honestly think they could make the playoffs. But it has nothing to do with Romo, mm -hmm. nothing to do with their defense. Their defense is pretty decent. Yeah. It's decent. It has to do with Eli Manning. 
Yeah. Eli Manning, I don't know what he's been doing the last four weeks, but he's thrown four interceptions, no touchdowns. Okay, so. He can't break 220 yards to save his life. I'm going to tell you something. They're imploding. Right They're imploding, but remember, this has happened. The two time Super Bowl runs. They make their run. They get hot. It may come down. It may come down to the last game of the season, like last year. And Dallas will end up losing. crumbling. The, Dallas can snatch defeat out of the jaws of victory yeah. every time. They will. They find Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers, mm-hmm. Drew Brees. They find ways to win. Mm-hmm. And I'm not putting it all on Romo because there's a lot of times Des Bryant uh-huh. is muffing punts. Mm-hmm. Felix Jones is running to the back of his line and fumbling. It's not all, he gets hurt again. Yeah, yeah. It's not all Romo's fault. Yeah, sometimes Romo's it seems fault. like they just figure out a way to lose. Yeah. Honestly, Sean Payton, I'm, I'm, you're hearing it here first. He doesn't think Sean Payton's going to go to Dallas. I think there is a 50% chance his family lives in Dallas, his kids go to school there. I mean, everything sets up perfectly for Sean Payton to go to Dallas. I, I think it sets up perfectly, but I don't think he can coexist. With, although Jason Garrett's calling the offensive plays, and that's what Peyton does well, but I, I think Peyton wants to be able to pick his own players, mm-hmm. and I think Jerry Jones has his hand too much in the pot. Unless Jerry Jones can finally say, look, um, I'm 80 years old or however old he is. Mm-hmm. I don't have much time left. I, I just want to win another championship. You won a Super Bowl. We haven't won since 97. Do what you got to do, man. That's, that's how they won back in the day. Jimmy Johnson trading Herschel Walker, getting all the picks. Yeah. Getting Aikman. Dude, uh, even Bill Parcells had good drafts. When Bill Parcells was there, Jason Wynn's a good tight end still. He's getting he's he's been in the league a little while. But and believe it or not, I'm not a big Romo fan and people give him a lot of grief about yeah. choking. But he's the NFL history leader in accuracy. He's pretty good. He's, he's a pretty B minus B plus quarterback. He's like a poor man's Drew Brees. Yeah, he's a poor man's Drew Brees. And you know, Look, dude, Austin, uh, Miles Austin's a good player. He's a good player. Des you know. Bryant's a, a head case, but he's he's. he's, he's I think they should get rid of him. I think they should. I get do rid too. Of him. I think, I think they can get some decent trade back. Oh yeah, they can get decent trade back. So I mean, we'll see. But you know, at the end of the day, the Dallas Cowboys—they are a fun team to watch, whether they win, lose, or draw. Um, you can hate them or love them, but you're not going to anymore. Exactly. There we go. <laughs> you know what I'm so, so that's pretty much it for the uh, for the hip hop scene. First podcast. First podcast, man. If you guys have any suggestions, what you want us to talk about, we can talk about sports, politics, whatever you want, man. Make sure you guys follow us on Twitter. Make sure you guys check out our Facebook page, man. Yep. Corey C. Herschel TV, man. Holla back. <laughs>